Hello, this is a quick video on how I accomplished this shot. Uh, the basic idea was just to have a person moving in slow motion take something out of the hand of a person moving just at regular speed. This was basically accomplished just by compositing two shots together. This was the first shot. It was shot at a high frame rate so I could later slow it way down. That's me running. It's my friend Zach holding the cup. He helped me out a lot making this video. And we filmed Zach getting angry, which we just filmed at regular speed and just left at regular speed. We marked off where he was standing. I think we just like, drew maybe like a chalk outline around his feet so he would be in the same spot every time. He lined up the, the cup he was holding with his belt um, just to make sure it was kind of in the same area, like the same height and everything. You can, uh, once I had two shots that I liked, I just did a real quick composite just to make sure everything lined up and the timing works. And you can see it lines up pretty well, even just with the simple masking. Uh, although one thing, you can see in the original shot how Zach's hand is holding the cup, is kind of swaying with his body as he's talking on the phone. Uh, while in the slow motion shot, his hand is just perfectly still. So when you put those two together, it has this kind of phony look where the top half of his arm is moving, but his hand is perfectly still. I wanted this subtle movement that happens when he's talking, so... I knew the split screen mask wouldn't work and I would have to extend the mask all the way around his hand. Uh, and this would later create a couple problems I had to work around, but I'll get into those. Uh, you know, basically the trick of the shot is just that the cup switches at one point. It's the cup from the normal speed until I grab it and then it becomes the cup from the slow motion shot, but because of the movement and other distractions you kind of don't really notice it. Uh, this was just a lot of masking, which I'll go into. First thing, with the extended mask, you see the cup Zach is holding doesn't quite line up with the cup I grab. Um, so I had to b copy his shot um, and make a much more specific mask of just his hand holding the cup, which I then just nudged over slightly till it lined up. So now I'm working in three separate layers. I have Zach's hand at regular speed, um, just the footage I originally shot of Zach at regular speed, and then the slow motion footage of me on the bottom. It's kind of like one, two, three. Once I had the regular speed shot lined up, uh, the cup lines up with where I'm grabbing it, I began to mask out the my hand and cup of the slow motion footage. Um, again, I basically am working in three layers again. It's Only this time it's my hand, then Zach at regular speed, and then me at slow speed again. Uh, so these are the shots by themselves. Here's the regular speed shot with all the adjustments and masks. Here's the slow speed shot with all the masks. And these are the two together. Also, I had a still of the empty street that I put behind the footage just to fill in all these holes there. Um, the other issue, you, the, the Dunkin' Donuts logo suddenly appears when I grab the cup. I wasn't paying attention, and uh, I have realized we were holding the cup two different ways. Uh, the logo is facing the camera in the slow motion footage, but it's away from the camera at the regular speed shot. So when the cup switches, it's very apparent. So how I got around this, I took a still that had the Dunkin' Donuts logo on it and cut out everything except the logo. Then I brought the logo into the regular motion shot and just basically animated it right onto the cup. Uh, I just had to set a ton of keyframes and match the slight shake of the cup so it lines up so it looks more fluid when it switches. So the last thing I had to do was just do a couple more masks. Um, I drew a mask around my head for when a couple cars go by me in the background, and then a mask on my upper arm and shoulder because of Zach's arms going by. Uh, and yeah, I just did those the same way, just with layers and masking and kind of the same thing. Um, yeah, so this was five minutes of your life you'll never get back. Uh, and check out my other videos on my video page for uh, all the Want you to know we went out with a bang. Dog.
up smile Though brief, what a wonderful week You're my friend till the end, which is now